Today we have another video in our line of do-it-yourself repairs and uh, aftermarket installation and so on. Uh, this radio is from a Dodge Jeep and Chrysler AM FM cassette player. Uh, it's one we used to see in shop for repair quite often for the power not working, the display being out or intermittent, AM and FM either being out or intermittent as well, and the cassette inoperative. We had another cassette stuck in this one. Uh, this radio, uh, coming from a repair standpoint, is not worth repairing. We've seen these at uh, many salvage yards and online auctions for $25 to $30. I wouldn't expect to pay much more for replacement there, but there are other options rather than replacement as well. Uh, if this radio is not working, you can upgrade this stereo and go aftermarket. Now, when you go aftermarket, there are several pieces that are going to be needed, and we highly suggest... Uh, Aftermarket installation can be very simple with the right equipment. If you don't have it, it can start a headache for you. But uh, first of all, what you need to purchase is the kit. This kit will mount the aftermarket single DIN style stereo. The will mint to this will mount to this kit, and this kit in turn takes up the same opening as the original stereo and fits the dash, and also mounts in the same pattern as the original stereo. Uh, next, you need the antenna adapter because the uh, radio. It, that has a different antenna jack in the car and you need an adapter that will mate to that to the universal jack for your uh, aftermarket car stereo. Uh, third and most important is the aftermarket wire harness. If you're cutting the harness in the car and attempting to find what the wires do there, please don't call us, don't contact us. Uh, I, we can't help you with the uh, factory colors. Um, that is something you can research online and find the answer to. But this connector mates to the main connector that comes out of the original car stereo, it will give you your power, your speakers, and ground. Now, aftermarket car stereo will come with its own wire harness and connector. Uh, these connectors are universally colored, as is the aftermarket wire harness. And all you have to do is splice these wires together, color for color, and this makes it an easy process and you don't have to figure out the wiring code of the vehicle. Uh, this will plug into the aftermarket car stereo, this will plug into the existing wire harness in the car and it's pretty much plug and play. Uh, this video is for helping with aftermarket car stereo installation and not actually repair and we will find this in our do-it-yourself section of the website and repair. Uh, see carstereohelp.com for other do-it-yourself repairs and installations along with removals and repair rates. Thank you for watching.